Hey gang, Mel Claro here with the Screencasting Wizard, helping you digitize your knowledge to get it online and web ready. In this short video, I just wanted to answer, show you a real quick excerpt from the digital know-how online course that I have for teaching folks how to use Camtasia and uh, for both Macintosh and Studio. Uh, just a question that came up in the course about if is there a way to create a media assets library in Camtasia for Macintosh like you could in Camtasia Studio. The thing is, you don't really have that built into Camtasia for Macintosh, but there's a workaround and I'll show you how. The problem though in Camtasia for Macintosh is that we don't have, like we talked about earlier, we don't have a library feature in Camtasia Macintosh. So here's what you do. You create an assets library project. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and save this off because I want to come back to this in just a second. Right, so meanwhile though, we're going to go ahead and open up. Here I have a assets library. This is my actual assets library project. I don't really have a whole lot in here other than I've got like my lower thirds that I typically like to use. Uh, and then I've also got my lower third for 1024 by 768 dimensions. So when I'm using those dimensions in my project, I've got that lower third ready to go. And then here's my like le little lead in uh, title here. All right. So I basically put all of these into like a, this is a, just, a, just a regular project file in uh, Camtasia for Macintosh. And I just happen to save it off as assets library. Okay. So now this is where you'll add all of those different things that you like to have, you know, that, that'll be ready to go. So, now, let's put this aside for a second, and I'm going to go to this other project. So notice I have two Camtasia for Macintosh projects open at the same time. That's what's going on here, so don't be confused by that. So let me minimize them both so you can kind of see both of them here on the timeline. This is my assets library, and this one, let's say, is a sample project that I'm working on. All right. So we don't need this, uh, this little arrow here. So now I'm going to say I want to add the lower third in here. So I just open up my assets library find the one that says 1280 by 720 and I just basically created these you know these are ones I created and so on I'll show you how I, I made this in just a second so I can take that and rather than trying to find a copy menu down here it isn't going to be this copy effects when you right click and, and all of that you actually have to go up to the the top bar menu choose edit and then say and then select copy over here so now once you have that then you go into your project that you want to copy it into and then you then go back up to the top bar menu, kind of has to be that, and then choose paste. Now you've got the quick and dirty lower third. They just got it added in there, all right? So we can zoom all of this stuff out, adjust the canvas out, let's say to, just becomes a formatting issue at that point. So I'm going to make this 1280 by 720, make, a, and then we'll go ahead and make the video inside scale to fit. Okay, so there, you learned all of those uh, options in module two, okay? So now we've got a really quick lower third. See how that works? Now let's say though I don't that I want to change that lower third because I want to change the um, the font. All right. So now I spent all of this time creating another title that maybe I like. Yeah, maybe I'll use that for future videos. So all you have to do now is just basically copy this. All right. Copy them both. So remember this is the this is this part up here is the text portion. See how that works? And then this part, this part down here is the, that little blue bar portion. All right. So now I've got that. Let's just go ahead and keep them all aligned. So what you want to do now, using my arrows to, uh, to pull it down a bit, what you want to do now is select both of them, come up to the top bar menu and copy those guys, come back over to your assets library, and then you glue that right in there and you save your assets library down. Okay. So that's how you can have an a, a assets library using Camtasia for Macintosh. Oh, hey, real quick, I actually didn't want to go away just yet. What I want to do, what I forgot to tell you also, and I uh, had it right here in my notes, uh, but I just want to make sure I do point it out to you. And when you save these assets in your assets library, the thing I would say is when you save it, there's, a, there's an option here. Let's say we're going to do a, a save as, and if I was going to save it as a new uh, project or project for the first time, See this option down here where it says create standalone project. You want to make sure that that's selected. And the reason is, is when you do that, anything that you have that's copied, that's in the, in the media bin right in here, the audio files and the, the movie files and any, in any particular images will also get copied into that same project folder. So that way you don't have to worry about these linking kinds of things, because if all you did was link, uh, was to keep that, th this box unchecked, so if this was unchecked, 
then essentially all of these assets that are in your media bin would simply be linked. Camtasia would be trying to link to them, all right? But that then, then implies that wherever those assets are relative to this project, they have to be there. You can't move those, those files. Otherwise, you'll get some broken links in here. Camtasia won't be able to find it, and it will give you this little fuzzy-looking icon that says it can't find the, you know, that particular media file. So just basically choose, make sure this is selected before you save the assets library off, and that will ensure that all of those assets, wherever they're at, will be get copied. Camtasia will make a copy of it and store it with this project file. Okay? That's it. That's uh, the other critical thing I wanted to make sure that you knew about. And uh, other than that, I will see you in the next video. Take care.